Hi beauties, today I am going to do just a really quick look using the LA Girl Pro Artistry eyeshadow palette. I did this last time, I think there's another one. I cannot tell the difference between the names. I did that with the Forever Fresh or whatever they were called, the, the one and the one came broken. What You guys know what I'm talking about, whatever. But yeah, this, this is the more blue toned one. I think there is another one in this collection as well, but I am not positive. But I picked these up when they were buy two, get one free at Ulta and I thought it was a pretty good deal. And I used the one palette already that came not broken and I really like that one. So today I'm kind of excited to get in with this little guy. So this is what the inside looks like. Big, beautiful pans, really gorgeous colors and a good mix of matte and sparkle and also a good mix of color and neutral in this one. So there are a lot of gorgeous eye-catching shades. You've got these two really gorgeous shimmer blues. You got two really gorgeous shimmer greens. Um, this silvery shade up here is beautiful. I, however, am thinking today, I wanna just do kind of like a nice neutral fall look. I made my base kind of like a brown tinted. I use like, you know, brown, highlighter and everything. So I wanna stay in this general area with these eight shades. So what I'm thinking for today is we're gonna do this on my lid, blend it out with this shade, and let's see if I can figure out what those names are. So we'll do Finesse on my eyelid, Savvy to blend it out, Radiance, which is the slightest shade up to, brow, to the brow bone. Um, then we'll do a cut crease and we will go in probably with Virtuoso, I think that's how that's pronounced, this one, and I'll probably use this one as a highlight shade and that one is expressive. Yeah, this is very challenging. It's like looking at like a, it's like lining up a pictograph of some sort. I don't know, it's wild. It's very, bear with me. Okay, so yeah, so that's the game plan for today. As you guys know, I've been saying this for months or years or decades or something like that. Still haven't washed my brushes, so I'm limited in what I have to use. We're gonna use these four Mana Kadar ones and then my, my normal blending brush and we're gonna do our damnedest to make that work. So we're going in with the Ness first. And I'm just gonna do that all over my eyelid. Now today, uh, to, for our little distraction chat. I'm gonna go back to the house. I, I started talking about it, I didn't mention, we talked about it a good amount um, in a video not long ago, but we're getting closer with it. Um, they have finally broken ground. We went out and saw it this weekend. Um, our piping and everything is up. They've got a gravel base down. So I think today in, in this particular week as we're filming it, today is Tuesday. They said they were going to start doing concrete on Monday for it. So that should have happened yesterday. It's definitely scary. It's definitely starting to get really real. We're doing everything we can to like pay down, you know, every sort of credit card debt and everything we have. And, and that is, should be all gone by the end of this month, which is exciting, but it's just so much at once. And then I'm also trying to shop for, <laughs> for the house at the same time. Um, because I know part of like, you know, part of the moving expense is going to have to be getting a few key pieces of furniture and things like that. And so today I figured I would tell you guys what it is that I am shopping for. And if you guys have suggestions on places that are relatively affordable, but still pretty good quality, um, places to look, places online. I'm, I mean, I'm literally open to anything. I've been shopping on Amazon, on Overstock, on uh, walmart.com, target.com. Pretty much everywhere. Right now I'm just staying online because I mean, we don't really have anywhere to store the furniture. So it's more just kind of getting an idea of like price checks and and seeing, you know, what approximately everything is gonna cost to, um, to furnish it the way we want. I will say we have a good amount of furniture from like when we lived in our apartment in Wilmington. Uh, we've got a good amount of furniture um, that we can take with us from like our parents' houses. Um, Nikki's whole bedroom suit, his family said that we could take that. So that'll probably be what we use for at least right now. There's not, I mean like, obviously if I had an unlimited amount of money, I would go in and I would redecorate everything and we'd have this like perfect, it did, I still wouldn't make it like super expensive just because I don't, I don't think it's necessary to, but I would just have like a little bit, you know, more cohesive furniture, buy like a bedroom suit and all that. That's not gonna happen right now. Maybe someday, but not right now. My main focus, and I did mention this, in the last video. My main focus is the studio and trying to figure out how the hell to organize my makeup because it is just kind of scattered right now. I mean, it, the issue is it just keeps growing. I mean, it, you know, when you start collecting makeup, you don't realize how quickly it expands because you'll, you'll buy like two or three palettes and you're like, oh my God, I can fit it in one case and you buy two or three more palettes and suddenly it's like, okay, I'm gonna need like a whole drawer. And then it's like, okay, all of a sudden I have 
six cabinets in my room and I need seven of them to fit my makeup. And that's kind of the point I'm at right now. What I've been thinking, and I think I'm gonna do a haul on this too. Over the weekend, I spent like $200 at Michael's and I bought, they were having a basket sale. I bought a whole bunch of like cute little decorative baskets, like the plastic containers and stuff like this. For a really long time, I was trying to look for like drawer systems for my palettes and stuff like that. That's currently, I have it in a dresser. Most of my palettes are in a dresser. I've got, it's kind of, at first the dresser worked well and then it expanded out of the dresser. So now it's, you know, we've got, it's dresser plus. There's palettes everywhere. And um, it's kind of expanded out of the dresser as well. So uh, really quickly, I like the shade finesse a lot. We're gonna go in now with Savvy and start blending it. And hopefully this one is dark enough to blend out with it. I may have to mix a little bit of a darker shade in there. Um, which is fine. Oh no, actually no, that looks like it's gonna do really nicely. Okay, perfect. But yeah, so right now I've got it in a dresser. They have started kind of expanding out. Um, of course, some of there's a lot, the issue with like cool package palettes is like I always love them and I always wanna get them, but then it's so hard to store them. So some, like all of my Glam Light palettes are in like one of those like things that I bought from Michael. I don't know how to explain it properly. It's like those cute little, like they look like they hold magazines or something. I don't know. There's all different sizes and all different styles. I have two of them currently that are black and white and I bought, I bought 20 because they're on sale for $6. So I just said, screw it and I bought 20. So I'm thinking if I put my palettes in it, I'm gonna either want extras to put more palettes in or I'm gonna use them all. If I don't wind up putting my palettes in it, they are a good size to store like snacks and stuff in the pantry. So I was like, what, I'll find, I'll find a use for these guys. They're gonna be necessary. We're gonna be doing a lot of organizing. It's not gonna be a bad thing to have. So that's why I went ahead and bit the bullet and did that. So what I'm thinking now is actually getting like a garage storage unit, like, like a heavy ass duty one. One that can hold like 6,000 pounds or something like that. I found one on Walmart that can hold 4,000 pounds. I worry about buying just like standard bookcases and stuff, especially since what I'm gonna be looking for is gonna be like this, the assemble it yourself. Like I'm not gonna spend like $800 on a bookcase. So it's gonna be like the assemble it yourself type things. And if I do that, I'm worried they're gonna break under the weight of my palettes and then all my makeup will be broken and then I will be broken as a person. So like, let's not do that. Let's try and avoid that crisis if we can. I actually had found on Overstock this really expensive but kind of perfect garage storage system that like mounts to the wall and it had like drawers and it had double-sided cabinets and I put it in my card was like $1,100 so I was like oh, that's gonna be an investment that I was not prepared to make but if it's necessary then it's necessary okay so the camera died and Nikki was on a call so I, while I was waiting I just kind of blended everything out a little bit more I did finish this eye because I think when it cut off I was like just starting it I like the way the two blended together it really is very pretty these these pigments are very nice, really easy to apply, very buttery, very easy to blend out. So I'm very, I'm very satisfied with so far both the palettes that I've tried from them. So I'm going to now blend in Radiance all the way up to the brow bone to kind of just lighten this a touch. And then I'll go ahead and start my cut crease. I'm gonna see, hopefully if I can like pat it down with my finger. I really don't wanna have to go get my beauty blender when I had like 10 minutes, I just sat here and I could have easily grabbed it. So. We'll see what I can do, but I may have to go grab that as well. But what I was talking about was the makeup storage. I think I was telling you guys about the overstock thing that I found, and I really liked that overstock thing. It was super sad because I was, I was, I think I was showing my parents like, hey, and I was looking at it because you know I don't sleep because of my, I was off, but I don't sleep, so it was like you know four in the morning or whatever. Everybody else was asleep because they're normal, and I was just kind of like up on Amazon and overstock and wherever else I could think about. I, I might be able to find like a nice storage unit or something or a storage cabinet or something. And I happened to find, the, and it's a garage storage unit. So I was looking at it and then I went to show my parents and like see what they thought about it. Cause we'd have to mount it to the wall and it was sold out. And I was like, any suggestions you guys have on things that are not going to be completely crazy expensive. But at this point, I just kind of want it to be set up well. So if I have to pay a little bit more than I was originally intending. I'm okay with it just because I would rather have something that I could grow into rather than like in a couple months, I'm gonna have to go buy another cabinet or another something else because it's gonna be filled. Why I bought those little buckets is I'm thinking right now, what I might do is just get like a garage, like a heavy duty metal garage, like things you would store, I don't know, garage stuff on. 
<laughs> like paint cans. I don't know what you would put on them. Whatever you store in your garage that just like is, is sturdy enough to, to hold it. And I may just put a whole bunch of the little tubs with all my palettes kind of like organized by brand and whatever else. So that's my concept right now. I would prefer it actually to be in a cabinet with like a door that shuts, but the same kind of thing where it's just like empty shelves in a cabinet that are kind of deep. So, cause the little buckets I got are like 15.75 inches long. So if they could be like 16 inches long, that would be perfect. Along with that in the studio, I know I, we need a different desk cause this desk is just like really tight. Nikki thinks that I need one that I can kind of spread out in. I've looked at like a lot of stuff, L-shaped couches, everything. I mean, L-shaped uh, tables and everything. I don't know. The, the desk thing has been more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, oh, we can find a desk pretty simply. They're all real expensive, like more expensive than I'm willing to pay for it. A couple hundred dollars. I was hoping to find one for like 150 at most and apparently that is a pipe dream. But that's what we're thinking for the studio. I've got the art cart. I think I mentioned it before, but the art cart that I bought for like my little storage of like my backup foundations and my concealers and my skincare type stuff, I freaking love it. But that art cart was like a really good investment. I think I'm actually gonna get another one so I can kind of separate things out a little bit more because right now it's organized pretty nicely. But there's a couple bins that are just really, really cluttered. And I think if I had it separated into more specific categories, it'd be easier for me to go in and find stuff, especially with like skincare things. Cause right now I just kind of have like, oh, it's a cream that's gonna go in here. But if I could separate it into like, oh, it's an eye cream or oh, it's like a firming serum or some, you know, it might be a little easier. So I think I do want to get another one of those. And that thing was only like 70 bucks. So it really wasn't that expensive. The issue is the one that I bought actually sold out like right after we ordered it. So I think it's back on, I think it's back available, but I don't know. That's the idea for the studio. What we're also looking for, like I, f I flat out know there's no way we're not gonna need a bookcase. We've got so many damn books between like our history books and stuff from school. And then like just normal books that we have and things like that. I was like, oh my God, if, if we don't get a bookcase, we're gonna have to just get like storage boxes just for our books. So I'm trying to find like just a, even just like a build it yourself bookcase that's like relatively tall, like once again, like 80 bucks, a hundred bucks, whatever. Apparently that's also very hard. I just, maybe I just don't know pricing. I remember going into the dorm and like, finding stuff for my dorm. I feel like it was easier to find stuff like that. I probably wasn't. I probably, I was just not like adding up how much everything was costing. But I feel like it was just easier to find stuff for like 50, 60 bucks and we built it ourselves and it was great. So the last thing that we're really struggling with is the bar area. The house that we ended up getting does not have its own like sectioned off dining room, which is what we were hoping for in order to make the bar area. Now it had so many other things that we wanted that was willing, we were willing to compromise on that. And, and it still has a designated dining area. It's just not its own room. It's like literally just, as soon as you walk in the door, you're also basically in the dining room. So because of that, because it doesn't have walls and everything, I feel like that space is just gonna be super limited with what we can do. And originally we wanted to build, cause we're doing a tap system. Originally we wanted the tap system to actually feed through our garage and it would come in through that wall. Cause the garage is actually back to back with that wall. So it would have been perfect. Hopefully we can still make that happen. It's just gonna be really dang tight because there's just not a ton of room in that area. We it's because it's so open. It just kind of feels like it, there's almost truthfully, there's almost no room there. Now, once again, we're walking on pebbles. <laughs> it was gravel. So when we get inside and the walls are built and everything, we may realize we have more room. I don't think that that's going to be the case. I think what I'm going to realize is that, oh yeah, we are tight, tight, tight on room. Um, and the same thing with the garage. I don't know if we can fit both of our cars in there and have the tap system feeding through with the, the fridge that we would need to, um, to keep the taps inside. That's going to take up a ton of room if we have to do the tap system in the room with it. So I found this thing that's like a corner bar, pricey, but not, it's actually not that pricey considering what it is and what you're getting for it. I actually, as I'm talking, I'm gonna add a little bit of zeal, which is that slightly more coppery glitter shade as well. I think it's gonna be um, necessary to kind of give it a little bit more depth and dimension, but I think the two mixed together is gonna be really pretty, kind of neutralize the two of them. So it's not super coppery, but it's also a little bit darker than that light, light shade. I'll send him a picture of the bar that I found that I like. It's It goes in the corner of the room. You can put like a little bar top against it. So it makes it feel like it's a little mini bar, which is always what I envisioned for that area is I really wanted it to feel like a, like a restaurant. So basically I can like go and sit in a restaurant without having to socialize. And that was especially apparent that I wanted that after 2020. <laughs> like as soon as quarantine happened and I realized like, oh my God, like I just, I just want to feel like I'm in a bar again. I don't want to go because I'm afraid, but I do want to feel it. 
I wanna feel that sensation of like going out, even if it's just going out into my dining room. So yeah, I don't know, I haven't decided. We've been shopping around, we've been like looking at Marketplace and stuff on Facebook. But honestly, every time I go and like start shopping, like something that's like the new edition of Craigslist, cause you know, Craigslist is kind of like, everybody knows Craigslist is where shady stuff happens. So like nobody goes there anymore. It's like MySpace. I, ever, uh, I just, I'm so afraid. Like I know you can find great deals there, but I'm just afraid I'm gonna get murdered. So we found this bar thing that was like $900 on and it came with a good amount of stuff. I mean, it was, a little dented and dinged and stuff. We'd ha definitely have to do some touching up and probably refinishing, but it was a great value for like $900. And I just don't know if I have it mentally in me to go and like meet somebody I've never met before and buy a bar set from them in the middle of a global pandemic. So I've been really shopping on the internet. So if you guys happen to stumble upon anything and you think like, hey, she might be looking for something like this, go ahead and send it my way because I will gladly take any suggestions or ideas that you guys may have. Even like, like let me be clear too, DIY stuff does not scare me. My dad is a contractor. Nikki did a lot of like stage greenery stuff in, in you know, college and I feel like we could build something if we if we just had the right idea for it or the right, even like the right base to start it. I just can't find anything that I like that would be able to convert into what I'm picturing. And I may just have to like give up on that dream. If that dream doesn't happen right now, then that dream doesn't happen right now. I'm just haven't given up on it quite yet. I don't know what happened. I love what's happening with this side. This side just looks murkier. I think that this has just got a little bit more copper, coppery of like the coppery toned into it. So I'm gonna try and just like darken this side up to make them match. Cause right now they just look like two totally different eye looks. Unfortunate. Cause it's pretty, it's just not matching. And I hate that, I hate that so much. I did spend a long time trying to blend it out. Um, I added a little bit of sleek, which is the black shade to darken up the outer corners. I like it. There are a couple areas where I just feel like, I, no matter what I did, it still came out patchy. I actually went and put a little bit of my, my neutral foundation shade, my mineral one over it, just to try and kind of level it out a little bit. I do like it a lot and I really like the colors and I really like the ones um, that I tried in this palette. So I'm not saying it's a bad palette, it just towards the end it started to go awry and I feel like it took a lot to try and correct it. It do be like that sometimes. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, listening to me talk about my issues with the house. If you have any suggestions on like good places to buy relatively affordable furniture, please let me know, link it in the comments, DM me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever you wanna do. Um, but any suggestions I am very open to and I would very much appreciate because it's just a lot right now and I'm just like all the time. So yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, subscribe to the channel so that way you can see every time we post new videos. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.